One of the last steps in fully onboarding with eXp is actually setting up your Skyslope. So you are going to receive a welcome to Skyslope email. Um, it typically takes a couple days um, from the time that you have filled out the application. And again, your username is going to be your eXp uh, Realty email. You're going to have to create your own password. And a lot of times you actually just have to go ahead and reset your password um, because it's not going to necessarily be your passport passwords and Skyslope is a different third-party uh, platform. So once you've logged in, it's going to look like this. Now again, we're going to see a bunch of zeros um, when you initially log in. Uh, but the really nice thing is it is super, super user friendly. So um, you can manage all of your listings here and manage your transactions. And when you do that, this is actually where the state compliance brokers are going to check every file for compliance. Um, if you have any um, state documents that you need. Oftentimes they're putting here in work documents. Uh, and then you can, once you have fulfilled your contract and it's executed and closed, then a lot of times it's archived and you can pull uh, past sales here as well. So um, when you create a listing, it's going to prompt you. You basically just plug in all the information and it moves you through the process. It literally just takes a couple of minutes. And the really nice thing is if you have all of your documents, um, if you scan them in and they're as one PDF, then you can actually split and assign them through Skyslope to the checklist. So we don't have any examples on here, but I definitely recommend getting into eXp World and taking the Skyslope class and they'll show you how to do all of this. Uh, and then of course we have digital signatures as well. So you'll utilize DigiSign. Um, so again, Skyslope is our transaction management system. As soon as you get a listing or a buyer under contract, make sure that you're uploading your documents uh, in enough time so that way the brokers can approve it and then also let you know if you're missing anything in your file. Uh, because once they fully approve it, that's what's going to shoot off to our accounting department and authorize the DA or the disbursement authorization. So there is a workflow to this. It's super streamlined, but you have to make sure that you're getting all of your documents in in a timely manner.